Shadow Treasurer Chris Bowen says changes to the rules around financial advice could once again see people lose their life savings in financial collapses like West Point. The commissions being paid for the advice to invest in West Point amounted on average to 10% of the amount invested. And this government thinks that's just fine. This government wants to bring back laws which will enable that to happen. The West Point collapse, like Storm Financial, came after financial advisers were paid huge commissions to give what turned out to be bad advice, costing small investors millions. The former Labor government changed the rules to stop commissions that could influence the advice financial planners give their clients. But the financial services industry wasn't completely happy and the Abbott government has unveiled legislation to loosen restrictions around general financial advice given by people like bank tellers. General advice is just that not related to the personal circumstances of a customer. But the changes won't be bringing back the types of commissions that led people to lose millions from companies like West Point. As soon as an advisor knows a person's financial situation, they're no longer eligible for a commission. And it will only apply to advice given by people employed by the companies whose products are being promoted, like banks. So, the changes don't bring back the types of commissions that were available to financial planners for recommending people invest in West Point and other failed schemes. Mr Bowen is scaremongering. That's a fact check. Details are on our website.